Hey everybody, this is Rich from Wild Ground. Just doing a quick update on my own little tropical garden, uh, just to show you how a mix of evergreen uh, plants and some perennials can make your garden fill out and look lovely in summer. Uh, that's this, obviously if you like a jungle type garden, which I do. So uh, yeah, this uh, Petrotenex, Papatriarex, um, only a few weeks ago, these leaves were quite small, as you can see now. They're putting on some size and they will grow to over one meter. Uh, we've got the deck walkway going down, which I installed five years ago. I've just upgraded the rope. The old rope had um, perished, so uh, I swapped it this time for a synthetic one. The clematis is now out in flower. I'm letting that climb through in the petitanax. We've got lots of hostas. We've got Cosmia here, this is Lucifer. Um, a lot of people again think that's a weed, but it gets lovely big red flowers, uh, spikes on it, so keep that in. This is one of my favourites here. This is Persicaria. It's uh, a relative of Japanese knotweed. You can see the similarities in the stem. Uh, off each node the leaves go out to maximise its light absorption. We've got lots of ferns. Some of these are evergreen, some aren't. They die back, but I like them to spill out onto the walkway because eventually, um, with the bamboos growing up on either side, it will uh, they'll grow together and it make like a tunnel. So we've got a fig tree, fantastic for any garden. The figs are just coming out. They do like restricted roots, but this one, I've just let it grow. Um, again, I want a good canopy on it, so it's a bit of a thug but they're really good. Got some grasses down here, miscanthus, some more ferns, and lots of hostas. I don't really suffer with my hostas because I've got lots of bark down and for some reason it just deters the slugs. This here is a baby Petrotenax, or a T-Rex plant as I want to call him. So this is very young, but in two years time, it will look like that. We've got the bamboo here, it gives us loads of privacy. This is a Philostachys aurea. Um, lots of people think the bamboos are thugs, but this one's really well behaved. Although it is a running variety, it tends to stop more of a clump. Um, again, these are all this year's shoots on the bamboo here. So they're all growing up and the ferns are spilling out quite nicely. We've got a few palm trees. Uh, we've got a different species of bamboo here. Um, this is a fargis here, this is a clumping one. And then just hidden inside here, we've got a chamois palm, which was a, a little plant when I got it, and it's now putting on some size, much like the trachycarpus here, which is putting on some considerable size. It's in flower. Um, I used to sell palm trees, so this was one that I'd brought. It's now got a really, really thick trunk. Um, they're one of the hardiest palms you can have in the UK. Practically indestructible. Um, there's a lot of other palms like Washingtonia, Robusta, and like Canary Island date palms. They tend to die off uh, with a bit of a frost. Um, excuse the watering cans and bits and bobs. There's an area just to the back of me that I'm working on um, where my little girl's trampoline's gonna go. But all these heucheras, they're all out in flower. Fantastic, they're this color all year round, so they're like evergreens more or less, really easy to propagate. We've got the, uh, hang on, it's hydrangea. Yep, nearly slipped my mind. Uh, that was a little plant we picked up from Gardener's World last year. Um, one of my wife's favourites, so got that in. Um, we don't tend to have a lot of grass. It's quite small. Um, it's, it was treated just a few weeks ago, and I tend to cut it pretty long because it uh, keeps it greener. So yeah, we've got a bit of a, a bird feeder here at the minute. It's got a load of vintage lanterns on. Um, used to sell vintage bits and bobs, so. Uh, Took the bird feeders down and they're just up there at the minute um, need to sort them out but as you can see again the bamboo has really put on some size 
this these here are just this year's growth so that is what possibly eight foot tall um, but it's a clumping bamboo same as say they have a bad reputation but there's a bamboo for every garden i've actually got about 10 of them in this garden but say i'm i'm aiming to make like a little secret garden so um get plenty of privacy got some nice ferns out here my banana clump over there uh, fingers crossed that it puts out some pups because the frost knocked them back and again just there the tree ferns they got knocked back by the frost but here we've got another um, trachycarpus again they're indestructible brilliant plants for any garden more heucheras and ferns this is another persicaria another relative of Japanese knotweed so you can see the similarities in the leaf and its growth habit really puts on some size got the sedums down here fantastic colours against the different types of heucheria more ferns and again we've got another big palm here just step back a bit you can see it then there's the palm that's all that's about to flower and more um, Pescaria. Now, if you're local to me in Selston and you would like a few cuttings of this, I'd uh, happily oblige. I can just cut you a few off and you just pop it in water and it'll root within, like, I don't know, 7 to 14 days. So, yeah, if you're local to me or I'm passing, I'm happy to give you a cutting of those. We've got the uh, Grandiflora. That's a fantastic tree. It's putting on some size. It does get quite big. But uh, going to maintain that. Don't want it going too much over the, the other side. And uh, another bamboo that will spill out, create a nice canopy onto the lawn. And uh, we've got another Fargesia bamboo here. This has only just recently been planted, so that's got a bush out. And uh, excuse the bags, but I swear by these. Uh, that's bloodfish and bone. Fantastic for the garden. Really cheap. And just behind it is uh, chicken manure pellets. Again, really good. I've got a nice heuchera here. This is heuchera brani, I think, or southern comfort. It gets really, really big leaves on it. And uh, that's just shadowed by an hibiscus. This, um, this was from Ruben Shaw's local garden centre. It was quite expensive, I think. It was around about £50, but it does get a um, really big dinner plate size plant uh, flowers on it. We did lose a few plants, tried to create a bit of a bee friendly area here and I uh, don't know if you can see it, my attempt at a little fairy ass, a little girl. Um, again, this hosta is planted in a border, you can see all the bark, um, it's from like local tree surgeons, so that's just in there and uh, and this is a fantastic grass, this is um, Miscanthus giganteus. This will grow to about 14 foot. It's got a bit of a spreading for, um, form and it can be a bit of a thug, but again, it's fantastic for any garden where you want uh, foliage and texture. It's quite an architectural plant and I think that's with all the jungly type plants, that's what they are. Another fantastic plant for the shade is the Fatsia japonica. Again, that's just coming into seed, but these really thrive in shade. The tops tend to get knocked back a bit in the frost. But uh, yeah, it's a really good plant and it does fill out any shady corner. This um, hosta has been decimated though by slugs, which is unusual. Um, this year I haven't put any Vaseline around the pot. I usually swear by putting Vaseline around the pots and it stops them. But uh, this year it hasn't. Yeah, just, again, let me just have a quick look around. Go up there, so all, all the top decking, done all that. Um, so yeah, quite handy with decking, discussed it tonight with a lady in the village about decking. And whilst decking is fantastic for getting different levels and it's quick to install, it does get slippy. Um, I treat this every year with a buyer side, so that's the service I offer. Um, pressure washing can damage the surface of the wood and it doesn't really remove all the algae 
in the all the things that make it slippy so a good biocide treatment will do that um, but there's all different ones on the market quite expensive chemicals but you're probably looking on an average deck around about 25 or 30 pound to spray one uh, with a proper biocide so yeah this is my little garden anyway um, quite proud of it because it, it took a long while to get like this um, yeah it's it's all good and it's all growing again another favorite is the cordy lines here they grow quite big so yeah it's only a small space but eventually it'll be a little sanctuary um, plan on getting more of these uh, different types of clematis in all across the fences to grow through the bamboos and, and through the trees again there's a fantastic tree there that's a liquid dunbar like a sweet gum tree it turns red in autumn just before um, the leaves drop because it's deciduous it's not an evergreen one but yeah that's it that's my little garden update thanks for looking and uh, I'll do another video shortly.